Hello students, welcome back to Engineers Academy. Do hit the subscribe button if you are here for the first time. Now we are going to solve this problem which says that if the concrete pedestal has a specific weight of gamma, determine the average normal stress developed in the pedestal as a function of z. So this is a concrete pedestal which is, um, you guys can say it is a frustum, right? When we cut a cone, so some part of the cone is called as a frustum, right? So this pedestal is in a shape of a of a frustum, right? You guys can see that if if this was a full cone like this, then some part of the cone has been removed. So if we remove some part of the cone, then that is called a frustum, and and this pedestal is in a shape of a frustum. And what is pedestal? Pedestal is basically used to support a column. So this is a concrete pedestal and we are asked to find the average normal stress developed in the pedestal as a function of z. So we have to find the average normal stress as a function of z and at, at this particular point at the top of this uh, pedestal at the, at the center of the top cross section is z equals to 0 and if we go in the downward direction then z increases. You guys can see here this is the problem statement. So we have to find uh, the average normal stress equation which will tell us the average normal stress in each and every uh, the average normal stress on each and every cross section as we go uh, from z equals to 0 until z equals to h. And we are given that the specific weight. So what is the specific weight? So the specific weight is basically you guys can see that specific weight gamma is always equal to weight divided by volume. So from this we can say that weight will be equal to the gamma multiplied by volume. So to find the average normal stress, what we need to do is that we need to pass a cutting section somewhere here. Uh, let's say if, if I pass a cutting section from the at a distance z from the top, right, somewhere here, this shaded one. If I pass a cutting section or if I, if, if I cut through this uh, pedestal somewhere here at a distance z, so what what that will do is that that will expose this cross-sectional area and let's say that this will this is the remaining frustum so if that is if this is the remaining frustum then the weight of this particular part or we can say that the weight of this one the weight of this blue part of the frustum will apply the force on on the remaining part of the pedestal right so we will have the weight uh, which will be acting like this. So due to the weight of the removed section of the pedestal, we will have the stress in the in the cross section on the cross section, right? So we will have the average normal stress on the cross section due to the weight of the of the removed uh, part, right? So we can say that the average normal stress then the average normal stress will be equal to the weight of the pedestal which is removed. Or we can say that the weight of the pedestal which is on the top of the cross section wherever we have passed a cutting section. So if we pass a cutting section somewhere here, let's say, then the weight of this particular part will, will count for the average normal stress. So we can say that the weight divided by the area exposed. And from this equation, we know that the weight is equal to gamma times volume. And the area of the the exposed cross section. So let's say if we pass a cutting section here, then the area of this uh, cross section will be that will be pi r square because this is a circular cross section. And as you guys can see that as we go down until h, the the radius of the cross section increases. So we have to find this r as a function of z. And similarly the volume will then become as a function of z as well because the r is a function of z. So first of all, we have to find r as a function of z, then we have to find the volume, right? And then we have to put in uh, everything in this equation and then that will give us the equation of the average normal stress as a function of z. So we can say that we have to find the equation of average normal stress as a function of z. So this is our basic task to find. So now for that, um, first of all, if I, if if I join the centers of these three circles, let's say somewhere here like this. So let me join these the centers of these three circles. One is the top circle, 
one is the bottom circle or the base circle and one is the cross section which is exposed right after passing a cutting section and this cross section is or we can say that the, cut, the cutting section is passed at a distance of z from the top. So that will expose a cross section which will have an, uh, an area of radius r, right? So we can say that if, if I join the centers of these three and let's say if I draw a line here, then if I draw another line here and if I draw another line here, so you guys can see that we are having this right angle triangle or we can say that we are having three right angle triangles. We are having these three right angle triangles. And all these three triangles are similar triangles because here we have 90 degree, here we have 90 degree, here we have 90 degree. So these three triangles are having all the angles similar because this angle is shared by all the three triangles and these two angles are same as well. So this means that this large triangle, then this triangle, and then this triangle. These three triangles are similar triangles, so we can apply the properties of similar triangles. And the ratios of the corresponding uh, the ratios of the corresponding sides of a similar triangles are always equal. So now let's say that this cone, which has been removed, which is not the part of the pedestal, is having a height h h dash. Let's say. So let's say that this is this part which is not existing actually is having a height of h dash. So we can say that if we apply the properties of similar triangles then we can say that uh, this r naught divided by this h dash right. So we can say r naught divided by h dash is equal to this or we can say this 2 or not divided by this whole height. So this whole height is h plus h dash. So we can say 2 or not divided by h plus h dash. And from this we can say that r not will cancel out and if we cross multiply like this so we will have h plus h dash equals to 2 h dash and from this we can say that 2 h dash minus h dash and h is equal to h dash. So from this we can say that this h dash is equal to h, right? So basically we can say that this is equal to the h, the h, right? So this means that a cone of height 2 h has been cut at its midpoint. So we are left with this concrete pedestal. And then if we compare this triangle with this triangle, if we apply the properties of similar triangles to these two uh, triangles, then we can say that r, this r divided by this height, which is basically h plus z, right? Because since we have passed a cutting section at a distance of z from the top, so we can say that r divided by h plus z is equal to r naught, this r naught divided by the height which is now h and from this we can say that the radius is equal to r naught divided by h into h plus z. So as you guys can see this r is a function of z right so we can say this r is a function of z. Now if we put z equals to 0 then this will become h plus 0 so h h will cancel out r is equal to r naught. So when z is equal to 0 r is equal to r naught. Now when z is equal to h this will become 2h, h will cancel out, this will become 2r0. So this means that this is the equation of r with respect to z. Now since I have told you people that to find the average normal stress, this will be the weight of the part of the cone which has been removed after passing a cutting section. So this means that if we pass a cutting section at some distance z, then the weight of this blue part right so we can say we can find the first of all we have to find the volume right so if we if we find the volume of this blue part and then multiply it by this specific weight that will give us the weight of this particular part that we have just removed after passing a cutting section 
Now, first of all, we have to find the volume, right? So to find the volume of this particular part, what we need to do is that we need to find the volume of this part. And then we have to subtract the volume of this part. So that will give us the volume of this part. So we can say that the volume of blue, this blue, right? This, the volume of this blue is equal to the volume of red plus blue, right? You guys can see this, is the volume of red plus blue minus the volume of red. And as we know that the volume of a full cone is one third pi r square into h. So the volume of a full cone is one third of pi r square. And what is r? If, if let's say if this is the full cone and this is the radius r and this is the height h, then this is the formula. So one third pi r square, this is the radius and this is the h. So now the volume of the blue cone which has been removed for, for finding the average normal stress is equal to the volume of this minus the volume of this. So we will get the volume of this. So the volume of red plus blue will be equal to, we can say that will be equal to one third pi. So for red plus blue, the radius will be this one, which is equal to r. So one third pi r square and the height will be h plus z for this one the height will be h plus z so multiply by h plus z minus the volume of red which is 1 divided by 3 pi for the red one for the red one the radius is r naught you guys can see so one third r naught square and the height is that h this one so we will multiply this with h so this will give us the volume of this part which we have removed after passing a cutting section at some distance z from the top so now this is we can say one third pi now r is a function of z, right? You guys can see r is a function of z. So we can say that this r is r naught divided by h, h plus z square into h plus z minus one third pi r naught square h. And this is one third. This will become r naught square divided by h square into h plus z minus so now we can take uh, one third pi r naught square h square common so we will be left with h plus z to the power 3 this 1 divided by 3 pi r naught square divided by h square is common so we will be left with h to the power 3 here if you guys do not know, then think of this. If we multiply this with this h to the power 3, we must left with this. So this means that we are left h to the power 3 here. So this is the volume which has been removed after passing a cutting section at a distance of z from the top. The average normal stress as a function of z let me write it like this this is equal to weight divided by the area weight is equal to gamma into volume of b divided by area which is pi r square so here we can say that gamma 1 divided by 3 pi r naught square divided by h square h plus z to the power 3 minus h to the power 3 divided by pi r square again r is a function of z here so we can say that this is r naught divided by h h plus z square so we can say that this is we can say 
1 divided by 3 pi r naught square divided by h square. I will write gamma here, right? h plus z to the power 3 minus h to the power 3. And we can say pi. And if I apply this square inside, then we will have r naught square divided by h square h plus z square. Now this pi will cancel out, or not square cancel out, h square cancel out. So we are left with gamma divided by 3, h plus z to the power 3 minus h to the power 3 divided by h plus z square. So this is the average normal stress as a function of z which was required. Now if, if someone asks that what will be the stress if we pass a cutting section at z equals to h divided by 2, like the half of this uh, pedestal. So if we put z equals to h divided by 2, so this will be equal to gamma divided by 3, h plus h divided by 2 to the power 3 minus h to the power 3 divided by h plus h divided by 2 square. So now you guys can see that this will be 1, 1 h plus 1 divided by 2 is 3 h divided by 2. So we can say 3 h divided by 2 to the power 3 and this is 3 h divided by 2 to the power 3. 3 divided by 2 to the power 3 is this is basically 27 divided by 8 h cube minus h cube divided by 27 in the numerator this is square right this is square 9 divided by 4 h square and similarly this is gamma divided by 3 multiply so gamma divided by 3 19 divided by 8 h cube so we can say that 19 divided by 8 divided by 9 divided by 4 so this gives us an h square will cancel out so we will be left with gamma divided by 3 19 divided by 18 h 1 divided by 3, we can say that 1 divided by 3 into 19 divided by 18 gamma h. So we can say uh, 19, 3 multiplied by 18, which gives us 19 divided by 54 or 0 0.352 gamma h. So this is the average stress at z equals to h divided by 2. 0 0.352 uh, specific weight times h. So whatever height of the pedestal is, whatever specific weight of the pedestal is, the average no normal stress will be 0 0.352 times the product of that at z equals to h divided by 2. So this is the solution of this particular problem. I hope this will help you in your learning. Do subscribe Engineers Academy for the solution of such more problems from Mechanics of Materials by R.C. Hibbler.